Hi there, sports fans, and you're smiling, ladies and gentlemen. This is show number. One. Why am I yelling? I don't oh, know. This is. We're coming in for a landing. This is show 117. We have our guest, Laura Lindbergh. Nice, nice name. Thank you. Very good. And, and here's Gino Fratelloni with two F's, three two, R's, and six G's. Two T and two L, not F, F, F. F in the beginning, and two T and two L, and N, E in the end. Nobody cares. Fratelloni. All right. Porky Pig with the F, 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 F. It's a nice Italian name. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Now, uh, we call you, like the kid, Ms. Lindbergh, Ms. Lindbergh. <laughs> <laughs> They do. Yeah. Ms. Lindbergh, she teaches in, in Bill, Bill Ricker, and that's Bill mm -hmm. Ricker, not like Billy Ricker, like they say oh, in the commercials Ricker, huh? in Massachusetts. Right. You're, you're in a middle school, right? Yeah, I'm at the Marshall Middle School, just for this year, I think. No names, uh, please. Don't, <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. We all got bounced around a lot with COVID, so this is a new, a new gig for me this year. That's oh, look good. at this. The teacher says gig. She's a real white. You don't <laughs> teach. Hey, baby, what are you doing? <laughs> You're there with that uh, machine. I put it down. All right. So, uh, but you teach for con she te you teach reading, but you teach it for content. Yes. Which is we unheard of in this in country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By sixth grade, you're not learning how to read anymore, but you are using reading to learn. And how do you? I wrote a use book once. I co-authored. It was learning to learn meteorology. Okay. All right. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can get a deal worked out. We sell it at your uh, restaurant, which we'll get to. Right. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> By the way, yeah. So uh, you're well, teaching and you're working at the same time at the restaurant. So the the shack is a little coffee shop that's right now open on the weekends, um, and we I own it with my sisters, so we all kind of take a day, and nice. I take Saturday, so that's that, my free day. But at that, uh, that's nice. At that, I said nice. I forgot my thought. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, in in the uh, it looks different from in the picture than when you go by it. Unless I haven't been by it lately. Did you remodel it? Well, I mean, we bought it three years ago, yeah. and it was the little old white country store. Yeah, they, with yeah. the bars on the windows. That might be what you remember. Yeah. Um, and we gutted it down to the ground. There was really nothing left. The only thing we had to keep was the size of the building. Um, so it's like the size of a shoebox. Uh, now it's a big shoebox. <laughs> now it's a shoebox with a beautiful front porch and a patio. <laughs> well, I saw that on the, it's on, it's on the internet, folks. We'll get to that in a moment. Yep. Uh, no, I know where it is. Oh, I'm glad you You did. can't go at all. Why? Yeah, there's a nice playground behind it. Um, yeah, the playground, playground. The playground looks terrific from the photo. Last time I went by there, it didn't look that terrific. Did I say that? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what What time are you open on Saturday? Midnight to eight. <laughs> we are open opposite eight a.m. to two p.m. That's all. Oh, that's all. She doesn't get up till two. Wants... What do you want? Are you have breakfast? <laughs> We have breakfast. Yes, we have some savory items, a lot of sweet baked items. Everything is kind of delivered fresh every day from a bunch of local bakeries and vendors. So we have a lot of amazing things in there yeah, uh, and new things all the time. What about the coffee now? I saw that it was advertised on the, on the website. Now, I don't know if the website said yeah. you're only open on weekends. It said there's, there's no, no dine-in, no delivery. <laughs> You want a delivery yeah. boy? I can be doing it. <laughs> okay, good. I'll hire you. There you go. I'm hired. Well, you All right. Can you eat inside? Or you have to be no, outside? no, no. Not that's not right now, right? Do you, can you we, eat inside um, for work? We were doing some delivery um, over the holidays and even during COVID of like big trays mm. for offices but or on people. A Saturday, like, on a Saturday morning, can you eat inside the restaurant or no? Not now. There's no seating inside. It's outside? very small. Outside? You can sit outside. Yep, there's some benches outside on the patio. Especially during a severe thunderstorm. You if, want to sit out there. No, if it's Ooh, look at yeah. that, a tornado. If it's Saturday, <laughs> it's a nice day. It's when Before I go to the airport, I can stop by oh, I, for yeah, breakfast. Yeah, what time is your flight? He's going to go on assignment. 12, 12 o'clock. <laughs> Get out of oh, here. Yeah, you go to the airport. You got to be at the airport early. Cause no, the... I got to be there at 12 o'clock because the plane leaves 2 o'clock. It's leaving you, Bob. <laughs> 
Toronto. Please call the office. Oh, tell them to be quiet there, please. <laughs> What's on TV? I'll find out. No, no, you can't. It's going to be cloudy, a lot of clouds and wind. Is it? Chilly, too. Probably we in the 30s. Early. Then. Not good. Oh. You need a hot coffee for that ride, for that flight. Well, getting, <laughs> thank you, getting back to coffee. What? Do, uh, now, you have a decaf, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Uh, uh, decaf. Now, are you in, are you in competition with uh, the other Toya coffee houses, for instance, DDs or uh, the other one? So I mean a little bit of we're all kind of in competition with each other, I guess. We have like the one benefit we have, I guess, is that there's really nothing nearby without heading into Drumhill Rotary. I can verify uh, that you're true. There is nothing nearby. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nothing. Uh, so that's in our favor. Yeah. If you don't feel like driving all the way into Lowell or please, I don't go into Lowell and get lost for some good donuts. Um, I will say that our coffee and donuts, I think, and all of our treats are a hundred times better than anything no, you get. Okay. Uh, can we, uh, oh, gentlemen in the uh, in the control. Can we put the slides up at the restaurant? You got an itch, we'll take care of that. <laughs> so, yeah, this is an off. Oh, These are right kind of our standard ah, offerings. They're over, oh, they're over there. Oh, so they can see <laughs> you're out of the picture with this one. Wow. We have uh, we delicious get, uh, uh, donuts have muffins. from the donut shack. Yeah, You're right, making that's your right. Own? We have You're little cookies, too. Can we don't we don't make anything there. The place is so small. We have it all brought in. But she we can't even Razzie's change her bakery. mind. It's so small, right? I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. Is it, no, can you see what's up on the screen? I can. Yes. Oh, so good. The, we have donuts from the Donut Shack. We have Iggy's Bakery in Cambridge delivers amazing croissants and sticky buns and loaves oh, wow. of bread. Um, Razzie's in Billerica makes all quiches and tarts and these strudel type things and the muffins and yeah then i see like bagels we get from bagels from either iggy's or einstein's Ooh, we bagels. Good, yeah With good cheese. variety of stuff you have cream cheese on it <laughs> yeah always all Ooh, kinds of <laughs> little locks do we want to ship in <laughs> yeah. yeah you know what Very i mean nice Ooh. okay so uh we have the next look at this chocolate yeah. fudge Blondie. Yep, so we do little trays like this for parties and Christmas time in different sizes. We did some catering. We're new to this. We're only, we've only been open for about a year. Um, we were open for a year before COVID, and then COVID hit, and we just kind of shut the doors down for a little while, and I we're coming back with this weekends only. I can help you um, shut down again if you want. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I do that, you know. Hey, shut the town. <laughs> Anyway. So, no, that's very nice. Now we have another one. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, these are just bar? some of the different varieties of brownies wow, and bars that we nice. have, and people would get a tray for a party. I think I'm going to get um, zits here, you know? Yeah, they're what making me that? hungry. <laughs> I'll have one. Reach out. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. oh, look, I just got hit by a... Ooh, la, la. It's a that yeah, those donuts are like, you can barely hold on to them. They're like they a donut and a half are so big. What's the one in the behind the front one? The one looks like, like a, a chocolate, over. like an old chocolate glazed. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. I call them the spider webs, you know. <laughs> They're real spider webs, folks, folks, you know. Wow. We don't fool around here. Wow. So, yeah, our donuts are like best in the state donuts. They're, we've been reviewed by the Donut Digest, like the donuts we get. We get them fresh every morning, and we sell out of them in two hours. We can't keep them on the shelf. So. Well, we'll go in there and more or more. You have to come nice and early. Yep. Yeah, midnight. You're an early riser. That's what you do. What are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, all, all right. So oh, look at the drink. This coffee. Yep, that is a delicious New Orleans blend iced coffee. It's a uh, French roast with chicory, and it kind of has like a chocolatey, nutty taste to it. It's something we came up with ourselves. I had it once in New Jersey, and you just like practiced it. until I could make it and this, we can sell it. This so. could explain a lot, this drink here. <laughs> wow. I drink a lot of that iced coffee, yeah. So what is it? Is that high test or what? It is pretty high test, yeah. You so, can't drink it black. You would not no, be. But, but like I mean, mud. it's not decaf. That is not decaf. I'm no, sorry, but it's it off is, the rack. Yeah. What do you got in decaf? You got any more photos there? Oh, there it is. Oh, there 270. There we are. I got. I didn't even recognize it because I was remain, reminded of the uh, little thing there, the little building. Yeah. Uh, so this is the building with a nice higher roof. We did the whole thing over. We lifted the roof and did vaulted ceilings inside, and we put that front oh, porch nice. on. Small, so but it's nice. come get a cup of coffee because we. <laughs> wow. I'll be there Friday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Where the hell are? 
All right, so it's 272 yeah. Old Westford Road in Chelmsford. Now, do you ship to Hawaii or anything? Uh, no. Do I what? Did she oh. ship to Hawaii? No. Uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, no, I'll have to bring that myself. Okay, good. Yeah, have it right. Do you have, uh, <laughs> you have a, did you put up a website on the, one of those? Uh, we what, did. What? We had, um, I had some high school kids actually use the shack as their DECA project last year, and they gave us some good advice, and we built a website um, that I tried to maintain, and we put up Instagram page and a Facebook page and try to put up good pictures and get some followers. And, you know, we're three sisters that no one has a restaurant background at all, but we're just kind of having fun with it and doing the best we can yeah. for now. I love the way you did that with the hair. Uh, <laughs> we tried that, but it didn't work out. <laughs> so uh, what, what is your website exactly? So the, the, the uh, shack? it's probably the shack Chelmsford dot com probably yeah you want to go probably home? you want to go home and do homework please <laughs> all right should have yeah. been more prepared she doesn't read for content you know what it is i may just get that there i didn't closely read right i didn't i didn't memorize it tomorrow i found it i put it in the shack i think i put yeah. it in the shack chelmsford the first time i put it up a shack o'neill showed up <laughs> oh yeah basketball would, player you know. yeah that'd be good for business so, yeah, you only have to pay him seven million. That's all right. That's for the first right. word. For so you're open. Let's repeat this. You're open um, um, only on the weekend now. Which Friday, be... Saturday, Sunday. Wait a minute. Now you're open Friday. Well, well, there's three sisters, so we had to be open three days. Weren't we they? Get my... They were. You were in that show, uh, White Christmas Sisters. sisters. <laughs> Except there were two of them. I think it was Vera Lynn and uh, Rosemary Clooney. Clooney. Yeah, definitely no. So you do not want tomorrow, to hear me singing. I'm, I'm going to go buy that tomorrow. I got time tomorrow before I go see my sister. Yep. What time? Time out here. We'll have a conversation. What, what, we, what <laughs> we want to see her, though. Oh, your sister. I, we can I, drive her well, crazy. We'll You'll see, see her one of my Saturday. sisters tomorrow, yeah. When we come back, I go with you. All right. So She'll, what? She's the young one. She's the younger one. She's, you know. <laughs> what the? I'm the old one. Oh, really? Talk about old. You know how old he is? He's the old <laughs> one. I'm the baby. Oh, you're the baby, my elbow. You're wearing a hat to cover right, it up. Keep quiet. Don't you tell me to be quiet. It's my show. So what? I'm a, I'm All a right, so guest. Stop it. You're supposed to, supposed to respect the guest. Well, you're not the guest. I am the guest. Oh, no, you're not. Uh, I'm a you want, so you want to talk about... Are you the about, co-host? Uh, you are yeah, you're the co-host, co so be quiet. I'm a co-host. Yeah, you're co-hosting, all right. Do you... Uh, <laughs> the kid, is that your class? <laughs> uh, so uh, let's give a shout out to the principal. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Or is it a woman? I have a, a male principal here. Yes, he is great. Is he? Did he? Yeah, he's really great. Did he just write I the like check out to you? I've always worked in elementary school for the past seven years. I've been in the elementary school with uh, third and fourth graders, and I got asked to come to the middle school this year, and I. Wasn't I'm surprised at how much I like it. They are a lot of fun. The kids are fun. They read fun books. You know, and you, you know what that means? You won't be invited back because <laughs> you like it. <laughs> All right. Where so you going next only year? A, you know. What will I do next year? Now, where are you going next year? Do you know. Well, I I'm supposed. We all kind of got moved for a year just because teachers went remote and took the year off. Ah. So if you had different certifications, you could teach in different. Uh, schools, different grade levels. So I should, I think, go back to the elementary school next year. You, we'll see. Right, here, here's the question now. Yeah. You don't have to give me the truth. Do you want to go back? Of course you <laughs> want. I'm not going to. No answer. You know, know what that, that means. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. We'll call, you want us to call the principal and tell him to lock you up? <laughs> tell him to stay there? Just let me stay. Yeah. yeah. She wants to stay. Come on, she wants to stay. She Come on, she stay. wants to stay. <laughs> to stay. You she hear that, Prince? <laughs> All right. He'll be, they'll throw you out Monday. All right. Oh, so, right. <laughs> so, so your store's all Monday, uh, mon uh, th Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yep. Eight yeah. to two. Oh, great. Eight to two. All right, we'll go Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so we talk about what you do at class before we do the final, before we do the 15 of the finest questions ever written? Sure. <laughs> So what do I do with my sixth graders? This is how you waste time. This is what they did. The student <laughs> does that. 
Oh, how do I write They this? actually do, yeah. Yeah, let me and see. They say, can we have a mask break? Can we have a mask break before we do anything? <laughs> and they want to go outside for a walk. So the way it's working, I mean, I see them every other day. And we, the, they choose their own books that they want to read based on the unit of study I'm teaching. So I did a character, like a deep study of character unit. We did a nonfiction unit. We're doing a social justice unit, and then we'll read about a, a dystopian unit, which is like that alternate universe in the future where things are not, it's unjust. It's not a great place to be. Um, so they choose books that they want to read that fall into that subject area, and I teach lessons that they can apply to texts that I'm reading, whether it's a short story or excerpts from a book, and then in their own books, and they do some writing about it, or sometimes they'll do a, a video that I can watch where they're talking about what they what they learned, if they're an expert on something. And uh, it's it's cool. It's a lot of fun. They're in book clubs now. Um, so four of them or five of them could be reading the same book. We can talk about it together. And they enjoy that. I enjoy that. I've read a lot of the books they've read, but not all of them. And there's so many books coming out all the time that that's the, the theory is that they learn to be better readers and fall in love with reading by being given choice. And if you let them read what they want to read, they'll become, they'll get better at reading that way. I mean, they don't and want, if they, they don't, don't like to... to read, it's because they haven't found the right book yet. We so were forced to read stuff, right you know, we were forced to read stuff. Yeah, not because yeah. we like oh, it or don't geez. like it, we, uh, you're right. I don't want to read Moby Dick. <laughs> right, yeah, the days of the, every everybody reads the same book, are over. Like, I'll put a selection of five different titles and have 20 of each of them and say, talk about each title mm. and you decide out of these five which one you'd like to read. And maybe there's more than one. Maybe even if there's none of them, well, we'll keep looking. But well, we try to put the right book in their hands. And How about the uh, Rise and Fall of the Third Reich? That's an interesting book. <laughs> that'll, <laughs> oh my God, no. And that'll, that'll settle them no. down. <laughs> They actually did read a lot of World War II uh, in our nonfiction. I learned a lot about the atomic bomb, and so did they. So they see that a lot of them chose that topic to read about. That's what you're doing, lawlessness now. That's what we <laughs> needed. Well, hey guys, here's how you the make the bomb. bomb. I was afraid there'd be a lot of craters in Billerica. There we go. Well, that they're might be. If they're on the road, you won't notice it, right? <laughs> yeah. No. I love the snow. <laughs> I love the snow removal. It's called the sun. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of back roads around here. A lot of, here. A lot of yeah. side streets. Actually, a lot of the side streets are smoother with snow on them. Did you notice <laughs> yeah. that? They take this I'm, road only in the winter when it snows. I'm it's serious. All right. Well, thank you for that important information. You're welcome. Thank you. Now, in the remaining, uh, do you want to say anything? You seem to be sleeping over there. Sleepy? You the one to sleep. You don't let me talk. No, I'm dopey. You're sleepy. Oh, Go ahead. You're dopey, man. Sleepy. Go ahead. That's nice what you do in school. Uh, you teach them. They give them give them the choice. They read. They read one book. If they don't like. They read something else. That's nice. What about Victoria? Thank you. What yeah. about Victoria's Secret Catalog? They want to read that. They do it for the <laughs> pictures. <laughs> Sometimes they read like a comic book. The books they read are comic books. Good. That's exciting. Yeah. Let them read Mad Some Magazine. Kids, How about Mad want. Magazine? Which magazine? Man. Mag. I don't know if that's still yeah, there. I, I don't get them going. Jeez. All oh, right. The back are, you, page. are you ready? I don't do it. Yes, I'm ready. Go ahead. All right, we'll let the young lady go first. Oh, okay. You want to fix your hair? It's uh, back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, there. Yeah, very good. Lovely. Yeah, I, I would do that, but I have nothing to flip here. Oh, sure. Go that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Stop that. Your brain's going to the wrong. All right. Watch it. All right. These are multiple choice questions with obvious answers. So you want to phone a friend? Here we go. Right. All right. Baseball is a A, winter sport, B, summer, stop that. B, summer sport, C, not a sport, or D, dancing sport. <laughs> winter, summer, not a sport, or a dancing sport? That is correct. I'll, I'll say uh, it's a summer sport. Good. Give her that. Thank you very much. You are correct. All right. All right, you get the state. All right, you ready? The governor of Massachusetts is A, Baker, B, Cook, C, Barr, D, Rockefeller. What do you got? 
I don't know. It started with a C, I think. It was a C, Johnny. And a B. Not caker. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? Charlie Baker. Charlie Baker. Very good. All right. Okay, here we go. This is a toughie. All right. All right. Will you stop fluffing it up, please? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so right, conscious. Right. Yeah. Do that in Get class. Miss Lindbergh, <laughs> stop that. <laughs> All the girls keep going. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody has a neck problem after that. All right. Number two. How many years is a how many years how many yards is a football field? A toughie. Is it trickier? A. Hold. Oh, stop. A. Sixty-nine. B. Thirty-four. C. One hundred. Now here's what the students would pick because it is so exact. You ready? D. Eighty-seven point four nine three seven eight six two. They would pick yeah, that. That's the, right. Definitely. That is the it's tricky exact. answer. Right. Which would be wrong. So what's your answer? One hundred. That is correct. One hundred yards. You want to wake up in there? Why? Give I her a B. The sports questions. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here's a good one. No. Foghorn Leghorn is A. Do uh, you know who he is? No. You don't? Say that again. Repeat. Foghorn Leghorn. No, <laughs> I don't know who he is. All right, let's move him back to the young lady. I do. I, I know do. that I do. one. I do. I do. <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn is A, a duck, B, chicken, C, goat, or D, bear? Chicken. That is correct. He keeps going, I say, I say. <laughs> yeah. I, see. I, I thought it was a rooster. You. It's a Looney Tune. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, you should watch it. Why All right, you you're ready for this. Nancy Pelosi is how old? 38, <laughs> 34, B62. That's a was that Obama? Maybe it was a B52. C49, 52, right? Yeah. C49, D81. That's how we do it in the class. <laughs> yeah, she's 81. <laughs> 81 is correct. Give it to him. <laughs> I used to do that with this. I taught college with doing the science. Is it A, B? C or D, what do you think it is? <laughs> Jeez. All right, moving along now. This is for you. Uh, Biden is how old? <laughs> oh, A, yeah. 43, B, 31, <laughs> C, 78, D, 25. It sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, 78. That is correct. I thought it was 77. No, he, he made it over. They threw a cake <laughs> in his I, He had a cake from, uh, from your replace. Right. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. The Senate has how many members? You ready? A, 42, B, 76, C, 99, D, 100. 100. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The Senate, the Senate vote is tied at 50, all right? Who breaks the tie? A, Mickey Mouse. B, Borwinkle. Remember him? <laughs> In Rocky Squirrel. C, the VP, or D, Foghorn Leghorn, who's a favorite here. <laughs> <laughs> the VP. That is correct. Thank you. It, are you ready? A touchdown is worth how many yards? How many? Geez, not easy reading. A little reading content, you know. Ooh. Right. A T, watch it. A T, a T, I can't handle it. A TD is worth how many points? A, 47. B63, C7, or D6? 47. 47. <laughs> Give him a. Eh, it's not right, 47. Thank you. I feel better now. It's six. So what? See, the trick was to think the extra point. You know. Right. You ought to ask them some of these questions. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. You're up. A pony is a small A. Pig. <laughs> I hear you like this one. B, Comquat. C, Dog, or D, Horse? Horse. Correct. Wow. All right. You ready? I don't know. A putty tat is said to have how many lives? A, that's lives, not wives. A, 46. B, 1. C, 9. Now here we go again. D. 8.65743321, which rounds to nine, you know. What do you say, putty tat? A putty tat. A, do a cat. A cat? Yeah. Why don't you say cat? Because, never mind. They got nine lives. Thank you. Thank you. All right, number 12. All right, I'm up. <laughs> the, satellite, the satellite of the Earth is called A, Saturn, B, Brooklyn, yeah. 
C, the moon, or D, the Bronx? The C, thing. the moon. That is correct. Huh. This is a hard quiz. It's not easy. <laughs> you ought to give it to the students to see what yeah. the heck happens. I wish I took your college classes. I might have done really well. You should have. <laughs> I'll give you an A for showing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about, do we have to know that? No, no, no. I just spent two hours on that for no reason. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I turned to the blackboard and go, <clears throat> <clears throat> I feel so much better. <laughs> oh, stop <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you in there. Stop it. All right. You're up. Right. Yeah, this is a toughie. You ought to give them this. They'll think it's a quiz, a trick question. Okay. Oh yeah. This is the, the, the New York City has five boroughs. You yeah. got that? How many boroughs does New York City have? See, that's a toughie. <laughs> You're talking a about bar? Four, wait a You're minute. Talking about bar? What? When you say borough, what the hell are you talking boroughs. about? Boroughs. What the hell is boroughs? Different uh, precincts, not precincts, different counties. Oh, why don't you say different because counties? Because they're called boroughs. Oh, who cares what they call them in New York? I, we, we in All right, let's go over to the teacher. My <laughs> God. A. A. A, 14, B, 3, C, 4, D, 5. 5. See that? You ought to try that. You should try that one. That's only two. Hey, Ms. Lindbergh, we is that a, is that a, a trick question, five. Ms. Lindbergh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. just like... What color is snow? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Blue. All it's right. Yes. The chap. <laughs> the ch what? Oh, the capital of the U.S. is A, Cleveland. No, oh. you're up, right? B, Washington State. C, Washington, D.C. So you really have to know that. You know, <sighs> or B, a D, Brooklyn again. I think it's Washington. Brooklyn. What do you got? Washington. It, two Washingtons so here. D, D, C. Good, Washington, thank you. DC. He'd be great in your class. Miss Lindbergh, Miss <laughs> Lindbergh. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be going, don't you have to go to the bathroom? Oh, there you yeah, I like to go to the bathroom. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you could say, you got a bad bladder, buddy? <laughs> All right, you ready? This is another ready. toughie. This is another one they get wrong. It's not Go ahead. Atlanta, Georgia is in what state? Oh, my God. <laughs> B, uh, A, Louisiana, B, Texas, C, Ohio, or D, Georgia? D, Georgia. All right, George, she's got wow. it. What a brilliant I'm proud teacher. proud of you. Woo. What All did right. I win? All right, she wins. How about another beep? <laughs> Thank you, a little late. We have 53 seconds left. Now, you're, you're an entrepreneur, so your three sisters own the shack. The shack, <laughs> yes. It's not to be confused with Shaquille O'Neal, although it's nope. big enough to be. So uh, I know he'd barely fit inside. He'd, he'd be on the porch. <laughs> I'd be break through the boards. Or something. All right. So three, three. Oh, sorry. Three sisters. All right. Yep. So uh, you split the whole thing up. We split the whole thing up. Yep. We're in in for a penny, in for a pound. Or just write that down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, well, we'll drop in when you're. When, we'll drop in when she's there. Saturday. You know what? You, yep. You can come see me any sat Saturdays for now, and then Sundays when soccer season starts up. So. What do you it's mean? all kind of random, but we're all interchangeable. You'll uh, meet me. You'll think I'm my sister. Just come in there. All right. So we have a buzzer from in there. They're killing me. Stay on afterwards, uh, will you? But I can't wait to see you guys inside. So please all come right. in and I can buy you a cup of coffee. Oh, she's going to mm -hmm. buy it. We'll be right over. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. <laughs> all right. Could you stay on, please? Don't, yes. don't hang up yet. Well, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, it was certainly. great. And we will take a few weeks to recover from this. But, uh, <laughs> I can just see him going to the shack. <laughs> Look like Santa Claus. All right, thank you. Watch the credits come up. How about the credits? Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. And so then is dead, but Cohen isn't. And when it comes to weather, Cohen's smart. As New York as you get, his money's on the Mets. Which goes to show that Ed's a Joe who always bets his heart. You'll hear a slick review or two from Nicky. And can't do something, Berg will sing some song. There's weather news and shtick, enough to make you sick. You'll be glad you came along.